Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. In part two of our basket orders video, we'll be showing you different ways in how you can execute your basket trades. Basket orders allow you to set up one or multiple predefined orders to be executed simultaneously in a group or what we call a batch or basket. For more information on how to set up these baskets for trade, please see part one of our basket order video. After you set up your baskets for trade, there are a few basic ways where you can send your baskets for execution. One, you can send them manually. Two, as a result of a trigger order. Or three, as a result of an alert. Executing baskets manually. Now that you've created your basket of stock to trade, you're ready to execute your orders. To execute your basket orders, you may use the long and short buttons on the top here, or use the execute basket order function down below, which I'll be showing you in the next example. Using either of these will execute the stock showing in your basket order window at the time you press the button. Because of this, you should use extreme caution when using either of these as one click of a button will instantaneously activate all the orders in your basket. When using the buttons on the top here, it's important to know that the action noted on the buttons will override what is noted in the order. For instance, when I click on the long button, you will see two market buy orders sent to the market establishing the long positions in my account window here. However, note that when I click on the short button, my positions are liquidated via market sell orders, despite the action in the basket orders indicating market buys. So again, take care when using these buttons to place your orders, as they will long or short the entire basket, regardless of what the action is noted on the order. You may also send basket orders manually by using the execute basket order function here by clicking on the plus sign. Immediately you'll see the same sort of long and short function, only this feature has the expanded ability to adjust the volume of the stocks in your basket. Looking at the drop down menu, you can see I have the ability to adjust the volume amount on the entire basket of stocks by shares, percentage, which represents percent of the original share amount, or by dollar amount. Note that the dollar amount you set would indicate the amount for each stock. So, if I put a thousand as my amount, the basket order will send the amount of shares that would make your position closest to a thousand dollars. If you're going to change the volume amounts, be sure to click on the override option here. Otherwise, your basket will continue to use the shares listed in your original configuration. Once I click on long basket, you can see that my basket has been sent for share amounts equating to approximately $1,000. Executing baskets via trigger orders. You may also set up your basket orders and use the trigger order feature to help automate your basket trades. To help illustrate this feature, I will use two basket trades, both with identical stocks except one will be a basket to buy and the other will be a basket to sell. Once my basket to buy executes, it will trigger the sell basket. If you remember my previous example, I've already created a basket called first, which looks to buy NTAP and SHLD at the market. I'll now create my second basket. Since those two stocks are already highlighted in my market viewer, all I need to do now is a right click and select basket trade to put these stocks into a basket. Again, for more detail on how to create these baskets, please see part one of our basket order video. To keep things consistent, I'll name this basket second. I will also change the action to short with a limit price at the ask. Now that I've created my two baskets, first and second, I will set up the trigger feature. By using the filter function, I'll bring up my basket called first, which will look to buy the stocks. Then I'll place my mouse over the trigger field and do a right click. I'll go to add trigger, then add basket. I'll locate the basket called second, which will look to sell the long positions that were established in my first basket. Then I'll do a left click. So just to recap what we've just set up, we have our first basket, which will buy NTMP and SHLD at the market. When this basket executes, it will trigger the second basket of stocks, which will look to sell NTAP and SHLD with a limit price at the ask. Watch closely as I click on the long button here to execute the first basket. 
As evidenced by the positions window, we can see the first basket was successful with establishing these two long positions. Looking at the open orders window, we can see that the second basket was also sent with these two open cell orders. Executing basket orders via alerts. You may also automate your basket trading by setting up alerts to activate your basket trades. In our previous example, we manually clicked on the long button to initiate our first basket. We could, however, help automate this process by setting up an alert, which, when activated, can be set to trigger that initial basket for a trade. For a detailed example on how to do this, please see our Alerts and Trigger video. Thank you for joining our DAS video series. We hope you found this clip on executing basket orders helpful. Please join us on our other videos in which we provide short tutorials to help you get the most out of your trading platform. Once again, thank you for joining us.